Morning guys, um, I hope everyone's well. Um, yeah, I'm using up paints and I want to get a lot of negative space. So yeah, the first color I have down is Oxide Black. Second color is Emerald by this little pigment. It's a really deep, beautiful green, hunter green. Next is Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. And I mixed a little oxide black in that as well. I wanted it dark. Next color, <laughs> my gloopy meteorite. I, I needed to use it up, but it was well, a little on the thick side. It was definitely old. But it worked out. And then Sterling Silver by this little pigment. So the last two pigments, um, Meteorite and Sterling Silver, are by this little pigment. And then, of course, if you've watched, you know I love um, a warm white drizzle on top of my colors under a dark cell activator. And the dark cell activator is... Paints Gray by Windsor and Newton. To be honest, um, I did a piece right before this, and oh, it just, I, the paints are definitely um, almost past their prime, hence why I needed to use them up. But the piece right before this, I just really didn't like it. it I don't know, the composition was off and it wasn't great. So I did scrape it into my catch bin. Yesterday was a, a bit of a struggle painting, but it happens sometimes and I haven't had that in a while. So um, yeah, so this is my, this is actually my third attempt for the day. My very first attempt I kept, um, it was the same, it's the same color palette. I did tape it, um, but I don't know if I'm going to show that one because it is the same color palette. Um, but the bloom spread out a bit more than I liked, but I wasn't, I wasn't going to scrape it for that. That's, that's not cool for me. Um, yeah. So here I am smushing out the pillow. This is definitely a smokier palette um, and it, it on the monitor through your cell phone I don't know if you guys can see the emerald green but it's just a really beautiful deep dark emerald green it's a, a really beautiful pigment and then with the with the oxide black and the Prussian blue and the meteorite it's uh, I don't know it's kind of an edgy bloom if you want to say that I love my petals on this piece. I'm kind of a petal junkie as well. <laughs> I like really blowing out those petals um, so that they have more of an organic look and they're elongated. That's just what I like to do. I like to see them. I, I always hope that I can um, have a good amount of negative space which I guess when I look back at my other videos yeah I have a lot of my pieces I think 99% of them have negative space um, yeah. so this was spinning out pretty nicely my pillow I'm almost out of this current pillow and when that happens it starts to get thick on me, nice and thick, so almost too thick, so I really have to spin to get it off the canvas, but yeah, I'm finishing up, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, I'm happy with the amount of space, um, there's part of me that wished 
you know, the blowout would have been a little better. I would have had a little bit more cells maybe on the other side, but I, I kind of like the balance to it. I like that darkness in the center and, um, you know, the cells aren't everywhere. All right, here comes a flyover, you guys. You can really see the colors. Now that meteorite is like a pewter shade. It's right there. You can kind of see it, it has a taupey look. And then there's that emerald. It's so pretty. And I don't use a lot of green, honestly. As you know, I'm like, blue girl I think Lisa Marvin I was like you're the blue girl <laughs> um Lisa Marvin art and it's like yeah it's true I gravitate towards blues and it's hard for me not to put a blue in a pour um but this one I tried to keep my blue at a minimum so yeah well you guys let me know what you think of this edgy smoky emerald bloom and if you love it give it a thumbs up and a follow thanks